Hello, my name is Marcello with 3S Shooting Sports Software. Today I'm going to show you how to pull and send the reports that you need to send to the ATA or PITA when your tournament is complete. Now if you're using Shoot Pro version 115, we highly suggest that you use the single click end feature instead. I will have a link in the video description covering how to use the single click end feature. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to cover how to send it to a single organization first, and then I will cover how to send in a cross-register report if you are doing cross-registration. First things first, we're going to pull the scores exceptions report. Go to scores, then go to number 10, scores exception, then select print, then select the save icon. Now I'm going to be saving my data to the C drive, to 3S, results, and then the name of my shoot. So this one's an example, it's going to be example shoot, and then we're going to say scores exceptions, and go ahead and save that, then close out of this report. Um, next, close out of scores exceptions. Then, the next thing that you're going to need to do is pull a finance report. Go to reports menu number 4, finance, then select tournament. Select display, then select run. Go ahead and select save report. And then you'll call that tournament finance. Okay. Save that. And close out of the tournament finance report. And then the last thing that you need to do is run the reports menu number 10, ATA forward slash PITA scores. You're going to select to file, and then you're going to navigate to where you are saving your file. So for me, C drive, 3S folder, results, example shoot, and then I'm going to say to file. And once that is complete, you'll get the message that says scores res score written to designated drive and click OK. Now open File Explorer and go to your directory. You should include your earned yardage reports that you've already saved as a PDF in here. Then go back one directory, right click on the folder where you just saved everything, and then select send to compressed zip folder. You're going to take this folder here, or this file here, and you're going to email that to results at shootata.com for the ATA, or k at shootpita.com if you're sending in results to the PITA. Now, if you do have a cross-registered shoot, you will need to pull one more report. Go to reports, then go to cross register and just like before you're going to say to file it should say PITA and then I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my results folder and I am going to say print all events and run and one after the other you're going to say save report and you're going to save that as cross register one. Click close. And the scores have been written. So if we go back into our directory, we will see scores.txt, which will be the scores that need to go to the PITA, and cross register one. Now, personally, what I like to do is create another folder and name it to the organization that we are cross-registering to. So for example, I'm cross-registering to the PITA, so I'll create a PITA folder, and then I'm gonna copy that scores folder and the cross-register PDF into the PITA folder. This way the ATA knows what they're looking at and the PITA knows what they're looking at. And once again, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this example shoot zip file that we've already created and I'm going to send that new folder to a compressed folder and then now I'll send this file here to both results at shootata.com 
and k at shootpita.com. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at shootingsportsoftware.com or call us at 1-801-396-7800. If you like that video, hit the thumbs up button. If you'd like to see when we post new content, hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to receive notifications on when we post new videos, hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.